okay so welcome back folks now uh, uh, last video we made uh, this base plate now uh, we want to copy that base plate and its properties so basically we're creating a template so you go up here and on custom connections you go create connection template and we only got one beam so one beam with end and we select our beam so that's that so here you always read down here select beam yes and select the uh, objects so in this case it's the connection we're after so we can click that gray box that represents the connection and right click and if you click driver here this beam actually turns red but it's already red right now so we'll, we'll see that in a different uh, in a different connection we create so we're gonna call that BP standing for base plate of course we've selected our object and then we we'll close and once you do that you're going to have this other outer box and it's gonna be blue that is to say there's a template of this connection now uh, we're going to now put that template connection onto our other beam so we go up there and click insert template connection and you select your BP there and it actually gives you a preview of what what connection it is and you go okay and the drive here it says select driver remember we selected the beam as the driver so we click that beam and you wait for it and before you know it bang you have your base plate now uh you, you i i usually do this just in case uh i'm going to have to manipulate it in the future so I don't know after this is optional really so I click uh, allow object modification in case I want to change some and then we're going to create uh, the same um, the same for the other beams there um, allow insert connection template Now, okay now we have our base plates and uh, now let's uh, go back and look at uh, what the library did for us here so now we're going to advanced joint properties of the connection uh, library and we saved ours as our base plate but let's say for example we want that one you see that's a pre-saved uh, uh, configuration of a plate and it's different so as you can see that's different from that but we want those properties in here so we're going to double click um, uh, uh, advanced joint properties uh, we'll go to our library and we'll revert back to our base plate and we click OK. OK, now we have covered connection templates and that is how we do it. Actually, we're going to do it again with a different kind. So connections for these beams up here. And I don't know what time do I have? For this video actually I'll cut um, no I'll do I'll do it in this video okay so we're gonna go to uh, up there and we're, go we're going to go to column to beam connections no actually we'll continue this in another video so uh, we'll be talking about making connections for those okay